There are many reasons why we would consider using neoadjuvant therapy or preoperative uh, chemotherapy for patients with early stage breast cancer. Part of the rationale is dependent on the subtype of breast cancer that's present. Even though hormone receptor positive breast cancer could be uh, subjected or considered for preoperative chemotherapy, at least in the United States, that's relatively uncommon, perhaps uh, used less so than it should be. Whereas for triple negative breast cancer and HER2 positive breast cancer, we're much more inclined to use preoperative therapy. And the rationale for using preoperative therapy very broadly is twofold. One is for patients who have uh, operability that's plus minus, meaning that you're considering doing uh, breast conservation, but the tumor size to the breast size is such that the cosmetic outcome may be suboptimal. In those situations, giving preoperative chemotherapy with or without other agents may put a patient in a position where the cosmetic outcome would be much better by shrinking the tumor prior to surgery. Otherwise, that patient may end up end, end up getting a mastectomy or the outcome following a lumpectomy may not be optimal. So that said, uh, and, and of course the other rationale for giving preoperative therapy, it not only accomplishes that, but you start the systemic therapy early. And we do know that patients who receive preoperative therapy and are rendered uh, with a PCR or pathologic complete response, particularly if they're HER2 positive and triple negative, tend to have a better overall long-term outcome. So understanding what the biology of the disease is based on how it responds to therapy may give us some insights in how to, that patient may do over the long term. Now specifically with respect to HER2 positive disease, uh, we generally consider giving preoperative therapy for patients who have tumors that are two centimeters or greater or positive lymph nodes. Uh, there are perhaps some patients, although there are relatively few, who have much smaller tumors where preoperative therapy would be considered, in other words, stage one disease. What we do know, as I mentioned earlier, is that patients who receive preoperative therapy, uh, and even with HER2 positive disease, where we're combining that with HER2 positive or HER2 targeted agents, uh, those that are rendered with a PCR, where there's no evidence of disease at the time of surgery, tend to have a very good outcome. So we're much more inclined, and that's evolved over the last few years, to be using more and more preoperative therapy. And now we've even come to the point where we recognize that if you do receive preoperative therapy and have residual disease present, we have strategies to try and treat those patients differently than we did in the past. If a patient receives preoperative HER2-directed therapy, it's typically with chemotherapy, trastuzumab, pertuzumab, and there's a very high pathologic complete response rate, probably in the 50% plus range. But that also implies that there are a fraction of patients, obviously, that do not have all disease um, resolved at the time of surgery. And now, based on the Catherine trial, we know that in those patients who have residual disease, rather than continuing the full year of Herceptin and Pertuzumab, switching the patient to TDM1 may result in a much better outcome. So we've evolved our strategies for taking care of patients with HER2 positive disease, not only in the front end preoperatively, but also in those patients who have residual disease following surgery. Most women who have stage 2, 3 disease are going to get a recommendation for preoperative therapy. I suppose the only situation where we would not do it is where the patient was very nervous about having her surgery done. But again, that has to be balanced against what the cosmetic outcome might be. So if a patient is uh, very clear that she wants a mastectomy, no two ways about it, and uh, in that situation, shrinking the tumor may not be as relevant for a cosmetic outcome because we know what the surgery is going to be. Whereas in somebody, as I mentioned uh, earlier, if they have a stage two or three tumor, uh, we would try to shrink it in order to optimize the cosmetic outcome so that breast conservation would look good and you're much more likely to achieve that goal if you do preoperative therapy.